Today, I'm gonna show you how to quickly make Mr. Fresh Asian's Stinger Transition. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we're back into the templates and tutorials, and we're gonna be looking at how to quickly and easily make Mr. Fresh Asian's Stinger Transition inside of After Effects. If you don't know what his Stinger Transition looks like, it looks like this. So that's it, it's a very simple and very clean stinger transition, and if you like that style, just the simplicity and the cleanliness, I'm gonna show you exactly how to quickly and easily make it inside of Adobe After Effects, and I'll even be providing a template for what we create today on the video that you can download it down in the description, so you can just jump in, change your colors, add in your logo, and you've got Mr. Fresh Asian stinger transition with your little twist on it. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that I try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash bravitym, so make sure you're jumping over there and dropping a follow if you wanna watch me play some games and sometimes design some stuff live on stream but without further ado let's jump into after effects and design this stinger transition all right guys so here we are inside of a brand new after effects project we have done nothing we've just opened up after effects and hit new project so to get started we're immediately just going to hit new composition and you can change these settings to match mine if you'd like we're doing 1920 by 1080 which is a full hd video file we're going to leave it just saying comp one for now and 60 frames per second sounds good so we're just going to hit okay yours may be black like this or it might be transparent you can just toggle the transparency right here if you want. I like to work with it in transparent when I'm doing stinger transitions. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to layer, new, solid, and we're just going to create a nice green solid because Mr. Fresh Asian's colors are green. So he has like a dark green kind of like this. So we're just going to create a dark green solid and we're going to make a nice thick band just kind of like that. Then we're gonna go up to layer solid. We're gonna create another one, which the next color is a nice light green. He's got a dark and a light green, just like that. So we're just gonna grab this one, shrink it down to be a little bit smaller and then put it like this. So this is what he's got going on. He's got a dark green and a light green right next to each other, just like this. And we've done that. Now we just wanna come down here and we just wanna pre-compose both of these two things. So we're just gonna click on both of them and just hit pre-compose. Go ahead and move all the attributes to a new composition and hit OK. So now these guys are stuck together. So what we can do is we can mess around with the rotation and rotate it like this, kind of like Mr. Fresh Asian has it, and then extend it out. So now we've got this band that can just wipe across just like that. This is the basis for many simple stinger transitions. You can see how simple that was to create this. All we need to do now is put it off screen over here and we're gonna to toggle and drop down our arrows here into the transform tools and select the stopwatch by position because we're gonna start some keyframes for our position. And then we're just gonna move forward a few frames. So like maybe, uh, maybe move forward like, let's go 30 frames per now. That's probably gonna to be too slow, but we'll go 30 frames and we're gonna move it all the way down into the other corner. And now when we play it, you'll see that it slowly goes by just like that looking pretty good and you don't have to do this next step but i think it makes it look a lot better you'll see how just boringly slides through at the same speed what we can do is we can select both of these keyframes right click go to keyframe assistant hit easy ease and then open up our graph editor here and this is how we can edit our speeds to change as the animation goes on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select over here. These little nubs will turn yellow just like that and then you can grab the handle and just kind of pull it in and adjust the graph to where it looks like that. So this is pretty much saying it's gonna start coming in slow and it's gonna ramp up and move really quickly at the end. So you see it comes in slow and then goes wow, like through and wow. And now that we've done that, the animation is a little bit fast. So we're going to come out of our graph editor and we're going to extend our animation to maybe be like 50 frames now. So let's take a look at it now. And there we go. Now we're looking kind of good. We could even go a little bit. Let's go like a full second here. That's looking pretty cool. You see how it slowly comes in and then goes whoo, out really quickly. That looks a lot more dynamic and nice. And there we go. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this layer just like that. And we're going to move it over here. And now you can see it goes, whoom, whoom. See, that was a little long. Let's go and move this in. Wham, wham. So your stinger could look like that, where you just have it go bang, bang, just like that. But Mr. Fresh Asians actually has the easy ease going in the other direction. So what we're going to do on this one that comes out is we're going to drop down and we're going to select our keyframes on the one that comes back through the second time. We're gonna select them, go to our graph editor, and we're gonna move this handle actually back to where it was, just kind of like that, till we get a nice mound. And we're gonna move this one in now so it starts out fast and then goes in slow. So first one we've got slow fast, this one we got fast slow. So now we can move this one out of the way a little bit. So slow fast, fast slow. Slow fast, fast slow. 
and we're gonna move that in a little bit how's that look there we go now we're getting a good looking a good looking stinger here so now we need to reveal a white background behind these as they wipe in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close all this and we're gonna select layer new solid and we're gonna create like a white background I'm gonna do a little bit off white a little bit more gray kind of like that hit OK and we're gonna put that completely below both of our pre comps here so now it's gonna reveal this in and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take our white solid and we're gonna match the angle of how these are rotated so we're gonna go ahead and grab our rotation tool rotate our white until it's generally the same so it see it's pretty close to the same angle and then we're gonna go ahead and extend out so we match the whole composition just like that so you'll see the white will move in and the same with the green so now we just need to keyframe the white to come in at the same time as the green so we're gonna start like right here with the white all the way up out of the way go ahead and toggle down our transform tools for the white solid hit position and then we're gonna move forward like halfway move the white to make sure it stays behind our green bar and then move further like this and then have the white be all the way on there and now you might need to go through kind of frame by frame and make sure that the white stays behind so you see if we go like here looking good the white stays behind but right there you see it catches up in front so we're gonna move the white back just like that and now it should be there we go you see the white now stays behind the green the whole time just like that so now the white comes in behind the green and now we just need to do that on the way back as well so you see this green one's coming in we need to put a position keyframe and then we'll start our white movement once again to stay behind the green here every once in a while just like that all the way out until the white can be gone let's go ahead and go frame by frame see if it pops out at all it pops out right there move it behind the green oh pops out on the other side right here and move the white behind the green perfect so now i have the white coming on behind the green and going away behind the green look at that that is looking fantastic and now you could just leave it like that if you want but to finish off mr fresh agent stinger transition we need to add in our logo so you can go ahead and just find your logo and then drag it into the project panel of your after effects project and once you've done that you'll see that it imports and you come up with this dialog box here we just want to make sure that we select footage for our logo here and then just hit ok and there we go we got our photoshop layer of our um, logo and we're gonna place it above the white solid above our background but behind the two green bars and we're gonna move to kind of like halfway where we want the logo to be kind of scale it up a little bit so you can have it be static in place and reveal behind it but his actually moves a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and just mess with the scale of our fake logo real quick so we're gonna start with our scale here and we're gonna end with the scale all the way at the end here and we want the scale to end at like this so we're creating a keyframe here and then we're going to move all the way to the beginning and we're going to bring our scale down like that so then our scale for our logo is constantly moving up as you can see so now we've got it scaling up just like that and we've got the logo behind the green but you'll see we need to have it reveal in on the white and the way we're going to do this is a little bit confusing but if you just follow these steps you'll be just fine so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the white solid here by hitting Control or command d and we're going to move one of these white solids on top of our logo here and then we're just going to click on our logo go over here to the track mat if you don't see this make sure you right click go to columns and then turn on switches and you should be able to see track mat but go ahead and turn on these track mats right here and go to your fake logo and set this none to alpha mat and you'll see that now the fake logo is showing up only on the white part just like that and then bam it goes out so there it is right there that is mr fresh asians stinger transition completely created from scratch inside of after effects obviously you'd have your logo in there but you can see it's just a couple of green banners that just fly across reveal his logo scaling in and then the green banners come back out but that is pretty much it for this video guys once again you can jump down into the description and download this exact template that we just created right here you can throw in your logo you can throw in your colors and edit it however you want and then it is yours to take and throw into your stream and have an awesome simple and clean stinger transition just like mr fresh asian i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoy when i do these kind of tutorial version ones of the templates where I actually show you how I create it more than just show you how to use the template but that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it once again don't forget to head on over to twitch.tv forward slash gravitym and follow me and catch a stream when you can but I will see you in the next video peace out